Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from DanceTube.tv and it's a really exciting time again as we finally have a new drone to test out on the channel. The Mavic Mini was recently released from DJI. I got my hands on one, I paid for this, so this is my honest first impressions and my before you buy the Mavic Mini. Make sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell as I will have a lot more content on the channel very soon for the Mavic Mini. Leave me a comment on this video letting me know what you'd like to see from the Mavic Mini and I will make sure to address that in a video or I'll just reply to your comment as the time goes by. The time flies by. If you are interested in picking up the Mavic Mini, then I will have a link in the description below to check it out on Amazon. If you do purchase the Mavic Mini through the link that I've provided, it does actually help out the channel, so I really do appreciate that. I'd love to know what your thoughts are of the Mavic Mini when you do get your hands on one. Now moving on to before you buy the Mavic Mini. This is a series that I've had on the channel now for pretty much two years, I believe it's been, and it's basically me breaking down a brand new product and letting you know what you actually need to know before you spend your hard-earned money on a product. Now the Mavic Mini is a brand new drone that weighs under 250 grams and a lot of different countries have regulations and laws in place now where you have to register your drone, you have to license it, you have to follow all of these strict rules to be able to fly a drone even just recreationally, not even commercially. So the Mavic Mini is trying to kind of come in underneath that point at 249 grams allowing you to finally fly a drone again and have a lot more fun without having to worry about all of these hoops that you've got to jump through. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy jumping through hoops, you know, I'm as into hoops as dogs are, but we really need to have a drone that kind of fits underneath that point so that we can fly it recreationally and actually have a fantastic time without worrying. But with that being said, it looks like a lot of different governments, a lot of different regulating bodies will potentially change that now, so it could even come down to 200 grams, meaning that you'd still have to register the Mavic Mini, and if we have any sort of issues with people crashing or having accidents, then most likely the goalpost will be moved down to 200 grams, but for now, we have full reign to kind of do whatever we want, as long as we follow the rules and we're sensible in the air, because it still is a flying object that could hurt someone. But this is really exciting for a lot of countries out there, and I think DJI are going to make a killing with this product. They're going to make a lot of money selling to all of the different countries that have had these big locks and gates through the last couple of years of not being able to fly a drone. So that's the first thing to mention. The second thing to mention is this thing is tiny. Like, it's insane. It weighs nothing, 249 grams. It feels literally so small and tiny. Um, but the thing that I love about it is the actual folding arms, the folding mechanism, it still feels as solid as all of the other Mavic line. So you've, you can really see that they've put the energy into making it feel like a foldable drone that is going to last and is going to stand the test of time. The folding mechanics are really, really solid. But certain things like the battery door on the back feel extremely cheap and flimsy. I feel like it could snap with a gentle breeze, which is frustrating. It's like a full plastic build. I would have loved to have seen some sort of like metal hinge or something that gives it a bit more stability. You've just got to be careful with it though. It's not that much of an issue. Um, and everything else actually feels really nice on the unit itself. It does have a plasticky feel. It is very lightweight and occasionally does kind of feel a little bit cheap when you're holding it. But overall, like I mentioned, the folding mechanism feel fantastic and the drone itself is actually built really well considering its price point considering how much it weighs they've actually done a really good job with the Mavic Mini another quick mention for the people out there who haven't heard about my drone inspired clothing brand called Eye in the Sky Clothing I wanted to really create something that was genuinely amazing something that people would be proud of and something that 
all of the different drone pilots that there would actually want to wear and rock at all their different events and all the different times that they go out flying. So check out irontheskyclothing.com and use the coupon code CLOTHING25 to save 25%. I will also have the merch shelf below this video here, so you'll be able to see some of the items I have available. Now flying back to the Mavic Mini, how does this drone fly? That's like one of the main criteria about a drone. How does it fly? How does it perform? And what does the video quality and the photo quality look like? Now, it does struggle a lot more than the larger drones, as you would kind of imagine, in high winds. It seems to counter the wind really well, but it also moves around a lot sporadically, and it's kind of weird as it's trying to counter the wind. It moves a little bit and doesn't really hold its position as well as some of the other drones, but when you check out the footage, you can't even tell. Like, it just looks extremely smooth, and it does a phenomenal job of countering all of the movement that it's actually basically doing on its own to counter that wind. So it does a fantastic job of holding its position and flying. You've just got to be mindful that again, it is a very small drone, so don't fly in ridiculously windy spots. Uh, when it comes to the video quality though, it shoots in 2.7K and 1080p. You don't have many options through the app besides those two. Uh, you also have some quick shot modes as well. You have four different quick shot modes, and then you have the photo options as well. But when it comes to the video, 2.7K, it looks really nice. Honestly, it does a beautiful job. I shot everything in auto, but you still do have a little bit of manual control as well, but it doesn't blow out the image. It did an amazing job with the exposure. Uh, the footage itself looks super crispy, and the focus point was nice as well. It's got like an infinite focus where it just focuses on the entire scene, and it does a good job of doing that as well. The photo quality is decent, it shoots 12 megapixel stills, and the photos are great as well. They're very usable, same with the video, both really well done for such a small drone. And that 3-axis gimbal as well does a beautiful job at stabilizing the footage. So overall, the functionality of the drone itself is phenomenal. It flies really well, it feels exactly like all of the other DJI drones that I've flown in the past. It's really fun to fly. Uh, it is quite small though, and it does seem to struggle a little bit with the wind. And I noticed that when I tried to fly it back, it was trying to counter the wind, even in sports mode. And it was struggling a little bit, which is kind of the same with all drones. So just be smart, you know, don't be an idiot with it. So like a true hype man, DJI state that you get 30 minutes of flight time. Now this is really unrealistic. There's no way you're going to get 30 minutes of flight time while still flying within your limits which is basically the 20% mark where it starts beeping at you. You can push it to 10% if you really wanted, but that's just a little too dangerous. You'd need to fly really close by. So let's say you get about 25 minutes when you try to land at the 20% mark, and that's still phenomenal. For such a small unit, 25 minutes per battery is great. And if you pick up the Fly More bundle, then you get the three batteries. So again, even better. But let's say 25 minutes and the hype man's telling you you're gonna get 30, but is it unrealistic, completely unrealistic in its execution. When it comes to the quick shot modes, they've actually included some really nice ones. So you get Drony, Rocket, Circle, and Helix. And these are all modes that we've really come to love from the Mavic range and all of the other drones throughout the years. And it's just four that we have available. There's no new exciting ones. It's basically just these four ready to go straight away. You also get a controller with the Mavic Mini and you can get up to four kilometers of HD video transmission. I had no issues with any interference or any issues with the actual transmission itself. That's something that you just kind of come to expect now from DJI. Really high quality transmission with no issues or no latency at all. The Mini also has vision sensor underneath the unit. It doesn't have any other side sensors or front sensors or rear sensors. It's literally just the vision sensor underneath and that's mainly to do with the return to home and to make sure that it's not going to smash into something as it's coming in to land. So that's really handy to have. And then the other thing you have is the GPS precise hover, which which again is a very standardized thing with DJI drones now. So it just means that it does a great job of hovering in the same position. And the big thing that they have changed is they've added a brand new app to their lineup. But honestly, DJI, you've got too many apps. Just streamline it now. It's ridiculous. You have the DJI Go, you have the Go 4, you also have the Mimo, and you now have the DJI 
fly or whatever it's called. So come on guys, like streamline it, have just the fly and the Mimo. Like why have we got four different applications? Anyway, that's for another story maybe. But the fly app is super simplified, very, very easy to use. I felt like even a kid could use it, like the big buttons on it, the super clean interface, even the fact that the text is a lot bigger than the Go app. Uh, everything's super simplified. You don't have any clutter or any crap. It's just in your face, ready to go. And that's something I actually really liked about it. It was super simplistic. You didn't have to think too much about it. And the drone was up in the air and ready to go. So anyway, these are all my thoughts so far on the Mavic Mini before you buy one for yourself. I think it's a fantastic unit and I think it's going to sell really, really well for DJI. I'm super impressed with it so far. I'm going to be doing some more videos over the coming weeks. So remember to subscribe and smash literally smash that notification bell so you actually get notified on my future videos again if you want to leave a comment below if you've got a question if you want me to test something drop it below on this video I'll reply to your comment and I'll try to make a video about it as well if it's something you really want me to test but that's it guys thank you so much for watching make sure to keep checking back on the channel for more videos have a fantastic day night evening wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-p-